Yo, would you guys really believe that this female is 40 years old? Or late 30s? Wow, that's that's the type. You see, she needs to be the poster girl for do not smoke, don't do drugs, don't do weed. I mean, weed is not that bad, though. But, <laughs> like, just take care of yourself. Bottom line, take care of yourself. And you could be 40 looking like this. Like, that's insane, dude. Trish doesn't count. Trish does not count. Trish is five years old. <laughs> or, well, how old is Trish? Like seven or some shit? Eight years old? Because she got made in Devil May Cry 1, right? So, calculating the math, she should either be like eight to 12 years old or some shit. Everybody that thinks Trish is attractive, you guys are weird. Morrison, you're, you're damn near 80 years old at this. If Dante is 40, this man has to be like 80. Eva? Ooh, that is gross. I don't know why people want them to get together, man. If you look anything like, oh, that's nasty, bro. Like, why did why do anybody want Dante and Trish to get together? That's the problem with people, man. Like, why can't a dude be really, 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 really cool with a chick? Like, Trish probably love hanging out with Dante. That's the, probably the dude that she could fart around, burp and shit. Take his shit and Dante viciously roast her ass like, yo, you a dirty butt? Like, what's wrong with you? That's gross. Taking shits? Like, that's best friend shit right there. That's when you know you really have a good guy friend. When you, you're not afraid to at least fart around him when you're a female, bro. You don't have to hold in your farts. You could just be like, I, right, I'm a fart on this nigga. Fuck this nigga. And it's funny though, like Dante not mad, he probably just like, damn, she really did that shit. Like, let's look at Nico. Oh my God, we can look at Nico. Oh, damn it. Fuck, guys, I'm not a pervert. I was just trying to zoom in the camera, calm down. I'm not a pervert, calm down. I was just trying to zoom in the camera. I'm gonna say it one more time. I'm just trying to zoom in the camera, calm down. All right, there we go. I just wanted to see her face. Yo, Nico is really pretty. How old is Nico? Is she 25 too? Yo, why Nico looks like she just... She's hot. Yo, Nico is high as shit. Yo, look at Nico. Yo, she's high, guys. Yo, Nico is blazed out her mind. She don't know what's going <laughs> on. Yo, Nico is so high right now. Do you want to lay down? Lay Yo, I'm going to lay her down. I'm going to try to tilt her so she can lay down. Yo, she looks so high. Like, she don't know what's going on right now. All right. Where's Miss Perfect Skin? Ew! What is this? No way. Who put this on you? Why she... What? Ugh! Not, yo, yo, there we go, there we go. Oh, dude, this girl has a strong jawline. Yo, my girl has a very defined jawline. If you, if, okay, if you're with, if you're with Lady, if you and Lady ever have kids, you guys have to pray that you guys have boys like ladies the type of female you date just for boys because her jawline will be amazing on a guy like, that's a good jawline man that's a really defined jawline yeah that's the only type of guys i should i could really see going after lady the ones that want boys if you want girls like nah nico is just pretty though Nico's the type of chick that you can have girls and boys with. Yeah, Nico is really pretty. Like you can have a good boy. I mean, he's gonna have like a baby face though. Any boy or any boy that you have with Nico, they'll have a baby face. Cause usually, like, I don't know why, like, first, second borns kind of get the looks of their mom a little bit. Oh, you want me to switch the variations? Let me see. I can switch the variations. Injured? What's injured about her? 
they threw dirt on her and they're calling her injured. Copy. Nah, this is better. Wait, why is she just wearing panties though? Hey. It's sexy, it's sexy. Yo, they really need to make this girl playable, man. And Devil May Cry 4, she is so fun to play. Alright. Mama Trish. Trish! Let's see you. I don't know. Trish, she needs to be with someone that's not Caucasian. She needs to be some. She needs to be with another ethnicity. Cause Trish has that face, where it's like, she can make some beautiful mixed children. Like she can make some really good mixed kids, especially if she's blonde too. She needs to date like a ooh, like a Spanish person, a Middle East. Ooh, Trish with a Middle Eastern person, they will make some amazing kids. Alright. Eva? We're not gonna even look at Eva. Alright. Let's look at the guys. I don't know who... I don't know what female would want Nero, though. That's how you know what's crazy? That's how you know? Nero really got the best female for himself. <clears throat> if you really think about it, like, Kirie is probably the best girl for Nero. Kirie is a, oh, she's a very, oh my god, like, you don't see, you don't see, like, I know this is a whole fictional character I'm talking about, but, like, legit, you don't even see any girls close to uh, Kirie, because she's so loyal, like, she's really loyal to this man, like, mind you, she, she gave, she gives no other guys play, she doesn't entertain no dudes, it was like, she saw Nero, and she knew, like, this is who I want to be with, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, and that is crazy. That's, that's wow. You know, shouts out to Nero, man. And Nero, too. Nero's a, like, yo, more dudes should be like Nero. Nero, honest. He'll tell you how he feels. He'll let you know when he's just not with the shits. He always down to throw hands if he feels like you're playing him. Like, we gotta be like Nero, bro. This is why he, like, it, it always tends to be the realest dudes that gets the realest chicks. You know what I mean? Like, you just have to be real, man. Stop playing games. I like you. You like me. Let's let's make something happen. All right, Dante. Let me look at you. I'm sorry, Dante. I fuck with you, bro, but you too much of a fuck boy. <laughs> like Dante's a fuck boy, man. Like I don't think any girl could take Dante. Like I mean, girls will probably want to fuck, but they can't take him seriously. You know what I mean? Like Dante's that like that booty call. Like oh, let me just hit him up. See if he's down to fuck, and then I'm out. I gotta go to my actual husband that's gonna take care of him. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, if you're one of them sleazy chicks, I feel like that's the type of chicks Dante attracts. Like, sleazy, sleazy women. Like, in marriages or in relationships, but, you know, like, obviously, they're with a provider, but they still want that, like, quote-unquote, bad nigga dick or bad guy dick or whatever. So they hit up Dante to kind of get that, and then they just go back to, you know, living their life. But those are just sleazy women that does that shit. But damn, but Dante, you do it to yourself, bro. Like, do you really, do anybody ever th thought, like, Dante is a husband? I've never seen this man like that. A husband. Bro, I'm sorry. That is crazy. Dante is nobody's husband, man. He's a booty call at best for women. Like, it's not like he's ugly. Like, women will find him attractive, but no women will take him seriously. Like, at all. Like, he's just, he's a fuckboy. Oh, man. Here we go with V. There's different versions. Oh, this crusty-ass character. <laughs> this crusty-ass man. V, I'm sorry to say this, but you a loser, bro. I'm sorry, man. Like, you're the type of dude that women in their 30s or 40s will find attractive because you're such a i don't know man like i don't want to say you a nice guy but you're such a lame bro like I, I don't i don't know what is it about you like you really a lame like look at him son like i don't know like he's definitely that type of character that is just like 
only women in their 30s and 40s, all their options are gone. No guy is trying to give them play no more. That's when they start looking at V like, ooh, he a snack. He's pretty. I mean, V's attractive. Like, I'm not saying he's not an attractive dude, but I'm saying, like, his personality is trash. And the way he talks to women is a, like, the way he talks in general is a turnoff. Like, what female wants to hear rhetoric? The moon is a crescent with the sun shining high. Like, no female want to hear that lame shit. <laughs> like, who, who, what? What female, what human being with ovaries, a clitoris, and a vagina wants to hear a man talk about how the sun is caressing the ocean and the fish is illuminating the sky? Like, what the fuck are you saying? Like, that's that's a panty dryer. Like, that will moist up a, that would dry up panties quick, man. Like, V, V gotta go. V, you a loser, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm <t> <laughs> Yo, <coughs> I know this is going to be man nasty, but technically speaking, Griffin will get way more girls than V. <laughs> Yo, Griffin will get way more girls than V. Way more girls. Griff Yo, look at this. Yo, do you guys see Griffin? And his personality is A1. Yo. He got, Griffin got jokes, good sense of humor, very witty, like, good banter. Yo, like, Griffin, yo, we gotta be like Nero and Griffin, man. Shadow, we're not judging that. Nightmare? No, we don't want no nightmares. Morrison? Eh. No, okay. No offense to Morrison, but if he's not in a relationship now... He's using dating apps. He got to use dating apps, bro. He has to. Like, Morrison, you too old, bro. Like, and I'm not saying there's not, like, beautiful older women that's in their 50s or 60s or whatever, but damn, bro. Like, if you're not in a committed relationship at your age, you got to use dating apps. And I, I, I legitimately mean dating apps. Like, no f fucking apps or no sex apps. You need a dating app. You need a committed woman or a woman that's going to be committed to you. And trust me. By that age, when they're like 50 and 40 or whatever, like, trust me, you could probably meet some good women because women at that age, for the most part, aren't trying to play games. Like, they just want something honest. So, you're good. Oh, man. I don't even want to say anything. Yo, Virgil, it, it, it pains me to say this, but I don't, I don't think, oh, my God. You want to know something crazy? <sighs> Virgil's the type of guy that you warn your female friends about, bro. Because Virgil's the type of dude that he's emotionally absent. So, it, oh man, Virgil, there's so much shit that could go wrong with dating a Virgil, man. Like, he's the type of dude, like... he's the, Okay, Virgil's the type of dude that wouldn't be afraid to go back out with his ex. Even though they broke up. And there's a reason why they broke up. Virgil's that type of dude that will go back to his ex. Also, Virgil's that type of dude in a relationship where it's just like... You you can never truly satisfy him. Because emotionally, he's not allowing you to come in. So, people... Oh, man. Virgil, it, it sucks to say this, bro. But, Virgil, you gotta watch out for people like Virgil, bro. Like, Virgil's the type of dude... Like, you have to warn your, 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 your female friends sisters like anybody like you gotta warn them about virgil because he could be cool i'm not saying virgil ain't cool i'm not saying virgil don't get played either but you have to warn you like if you are good if you have like a a friend a female friend that you genuinely care about you warn her about virgil bro because dudes like virgil are always just like just ah they nah man you, you gotta warn her bro because you don't know how he could turn out. One day, maybe he starts throwing hands with her or hitting her. And that, I don't I don't condone that, man. I don't condone that. All I'm going to say is, where's Nero's mom? That's all I'm going to say is, where's Nero's mom? And don't say she could still be alive. We, we all know the answer. She's dead. <laughs> 
Who killed her? Virgil. We know Virgil murdered the life out of her. Like, nah. Get out of here. Send that man to farmersmeet.com. <laughs> yes. Farmersmeet.com. I agree with the doctor. He's a doctor, so he has the credentials to recommend. The female's 20s and their 30s? Yo, I don't know, man. Like, Virgil gets... Like, Virgil's not like Dante. I, I feel like Virgil could be in a good, committed relationship. But eventually, because he's so emotionally guarded, he's not going to be satisfied with it. Like, Virgil's the type of dude, like, when he's in a long-term relationship, eventually, he's just going to get tight. Like, he's going to get mad for no reason. And he's never going to understand why he's mad. Because... He can never be fulfilled. Think, think of it like this. Think about his personality, right? I need more power. I need more power. B Virgil, we know you need more power, but why? Like, why do you need that? Like, that's a question that, like, I understand is ambiguous for a reason. But I feel like it's such a... It's an answer that Virgil himself really don't know why. Like, I understand the trauma and all the um, issues he had with his family. But it is crazy to me why it's just like he's on this never-ending path of power that no matter how strong he gets, it's never enough. Same thing with a relationship. No matter how good she is, it's never enough. And that's the worst relationships to be in, like when you can't just be happy with what you have. And I feel like, yo, Virgil can get so many girls, but that's always gonna be his fault. Like Virgil could probably get, Virgil, I know Virgil knows what's a good girl and a bad girl. Like a girl that he could probably have, hold him down, love him, raise kids with, but Virgil will always be the problem. All right, that's it. Yo, I'm really mad we did this, though. Why did I say we like you guys had a choice into listening to all this nonsense? But I'm really mad I did it. I really sat down and evaluated all these characters. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put this on YouTube. This is, that, that was actually pretty funny. That's actually pretty cool.